Hi guys, Terry here from Critical Hits, and uh, you joined me for a very special unboxing. Now, if you follow me, if you follow, follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you know that I happen to have a passion, a love, a joy for for figures, but not just any figures. Most figures do count, but still, I have a special fondness for Hot Toys. It's a Hong Kong branch that make the most unbelievably realistic figures, and. They kind of look like they've got some sort of shrinking ray and they attack the actors with them, they like shrink them and they duplicate them, but I'm just saying, they make really realistic figures. Now, I've been collecting mostly Batman figures so far. They my whole one true love in life, Batman. I am not ashamed to admit that. But uh, I kind of wanted to build a theme and I knew that if I started doing Iron Man figures, I would be bankrupt within a week because there are just so many of them. So I decided to focus on Batman and in a wider way, the DC Cinematic Universe, which brings me to this. This inside here is the Wonder Woman figure from Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justin Bieber. Dawn, Dawn of Justice, Dawn of Justice. Um, I pre-ordered this, I think about a year and a half ago when it was announced. There was some controversy, as always, with the Hot Toys figure. They said, oh no, she doesn't look like Gal Gadot. That doesn't look like Wonder Woman. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of had faith because what Hot Toys shows you is always the prototype, and there's a reason why you wait so long for those figures to be finished. It's because they refine them, they tweak them, they polish them, and then you get the, the final results. So here we go. That's just an absolutely beautiful package. I have the the backflip figure that goes with this one. I, uh, I'll do some side by side photos with it later. They have the Superman figure yet to complete that whole trinity, but. I will, soon enough. So, without further ado, without further banter, let's open this, this beautiful figure up. Right. So, we take off that base over there, which I'll put to the one side. And here we see the credits, the list of the people, the fine men and women that helped bring this figure to life. Look at these names, immortalize them, memorize them. And then we'll take this off. Oops, looks like a drop over here. There we go, there she is in her box. So, I'm going to put this on the side. Don't worry, there will be close up video pictures. You don't have to fret. We'll start unpacking the stuff. So, first thing we've got here is we've got the shield and we've got the harness. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, do I have a knife around here? I've got a little tiny scissors on my desk. You should make use of that. I'll just cut that open. Oh, come on. There we go. So here's the actual shield. It's oh my god, it's, it's detailed. Kind of fits my pinky, which is really cool, you know, if I have any battle. But uh, we've got yeah, all the ancient Amazon and Greek fonts, lettering. And even on the underside here, yeah, it's detailed. The buckles have detailed. These little fasteners here. Captain America would be jealous of the shield, I can tell you that much. But it's absolutely gorgeous texture as well. Feels great. I'll just put you over there. Yeah, I think. Here's the harness. I don't know if you can see it, but even the harness has a leather texturing, leather texturing to it, even though it's made out of plastic. Little belt buckles here. Guess uh, these fit in somewhere. I should be careful with these. So I'll assemble this on Diana later. Okay. So let's put this to the other side. Let's take out the warrior princess herself. I kind of want a Xena six, six scale figure now, which would be awesome. Put you over there. Now, one thing my hot, hot toys, I ain't know how to package. Oh boy, we've got instructions here, so we should have a look at those as well. Side, let's uh, grab these instructions as well while we're at it. Always read your instructions, that's one thing I have learned over the last year collecting these guys. Right, I will put our Anna up there. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes I am an idiot. Alright, crisis averted, I have picked up all the pieces here, but we'll get to them in a moment. If you can just gaze on Diana, I'm just going to have a quick run through. 
of all the uh, details. So this is the Wonder Woman instruction sheet. Let's see what Hot Toys have to say. So, have a look at this. So yeah, you can actually remove a head, which is kind of frightening. It tells you how to put on a shield, tells you how to put on a sword. There's more stuff at the back here about head movement, arm movement, interchangeable bracelets of submission, wielding the shield, and of course, caution. This is something I have, I do want to be careful with. Uh, the outfit may be damaged if putting on or taking off inappropriately with excessive force. Do not excessively bend the arms and legs or bend them outward, otherwise the figure will be damaged. So pretty much that. So what it's basically saying is keep it in the box if you want a decent investment. And uh, if you do want to display it, have it in some place that's like UV proof that's, you know, that's organized for protection purposes. True collectors, you know what I'm talking about. Take your little neck brace over there. Oh boy. Let's, uh, let's actually take out the accessories first. So here are two of the braces of submission. Which you can see, that's how she does that whole thing and she charges them with power. It's like, ah! It's cool. We've got two fists. One hand for holding the God Killer sword, I'd imagine. Uh, I think this is an armlet, I could be mistaken, but it looks like an armlet too. Armlet, not omelet, armlet. The God Killer sword. Ooh. It's got the tiniest little text on you. I can't read it, but that's just amazing. There are actual details on you that I never noticed in the film itself. And there's little nicks in the sword, so you can see it has been used in battle. Got a decent length to it. There. Just like to organize everything neatly. Here we go, the lasso of truth. Oh, I'm not going to undo this, it's actually got a little bit of a wire here so it doesn't you know, untangle itself. A little ends here. Oh, it's beautiful, it's so golden. I don't know if the, if the camera's picking it up, but. Ah, we've got more hands, obviously. Here we go, another fist. This is probably for holding the sword as well if you want. Also, more hands for holding stuff, wrapped in like faux leather. And now, we have some some fleshy pigs here, which I'll leave there for the moment. And now for Diana herself. Okay. I'm just going to put you over there. My word. Let's... Soft. This feels like actual skin. It's, this probably sounds creepy, but it feels like skin. You take this off. I'm, I'm being so gentle here. I think this is going to be a masterpiece to be displayed. This is hair. This is actual hair that you can comb, you can brush, you can set up. Oh wow. Oh, I'm just going to take these pieces of plastic off. Okay, that's about everything. I uh, don't know if she's standing properly. There's some more plastic over here, but I'm going to leave that for now because I really want to take care of this figure. Jeez, guys, this is unreal. It's, the airbrushing alone on this figure must have taken... It must have taken weeks per figure. It's, it looks so lifelike. I, 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 I cannot believe this. I know one of the other big controversies apparently was like, the face of Wonder Woman here. A lot of people say that this doesn't look like the actress Gal Gadot. I want some of what they're smoking. This looks exactly like her. The only thing that's missing is her trademark frown, you could say. The eyes are there, that... Oh, good. That's, that, that purity, that innocence in the face of the character that Gal Gadot portrayed in the film itself. It's here. It's right here. And then you've got the actual costume itself. You've got details here, you've got the brassiere, you've got the gold. This, uh, this skirt here, it's got little bit of details on here. It's so soft. It's... Then there are these boots. I, I'm kind of jealous that I don't own boots like these. These are freaking brilliant. And you'll kind of notice that, like, unlike other figures around, these <laughs> there is there are no seams. This this is a seamless figure. This is a work of art. I, I'm so scared to move it in case I rip it. But you can move her head around a bit, I suppose. You can move the legs up and down. She'll obviously form, she'll have a great pose once you once you both set up, but I say I'm I'll be just a bit careful here on the on the sides yeah, just in case something gets ripped. That would be just a nightmare scenario for me. Guys, she's even got 
elbow wrinkles here. How is that for a level of detail? Then we've got, you know, just details like this. I mean, God, damn, look at the guns on her. I wish I had arms like this. She is jacked. With the collarbone. Just. Oh, it's not often that I make speechless like this, but this is a figure that genuinely. Pictures, video doesn't do it justice until you see it in person. Or dawn of justice, you could say. Uh, I'm not going to start swapping hands out right now, but let's just have a quick look. Let's say, can we fit in. Oh, I suppose if you wanted to, you could fit in the shield. Uh, a bit awkward you do from behind the camera. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of practice, obviously. I mean, you can put it on behind it, which is the way I would personally, personally do it. These, oh, look, these boots are incredibly detailed. There's oh, little nicks and scratches. There's probably toes underneath all this. I would not be surprised. Uh, let's see, can we... I don't know if this is... This is one to put the sword in. I don't want to tempt fate yet. Mm, it probably is. It's going to take some jiggering to you to get that right. Oh, I don't want to cut your head. Because yeah, this, this isn't... This you could probably just squeeze in. Please don't break. Oh, I'm so scared I'm going to break this figure. It's probably not as fragile as I'm making it out to be, but... I'm just being cautious. I, I don't want to take a chance. Um, let's have a quick look. What else is in here? you guys on one side. Oh, let's see, we've also got her base. Ace of base. There's obviously the, the pole that goes with it, but just to give you a quick idea of the base that comes with this. It's the same one that you get with the Batman and the Superman figures. In place of on set base. Like so, there's a pole that comes here, just so you to brace it to hold it in place. Or if you want to go a step further, you can just do something like that. Just erase, just raise the profile a bit. It's this this honestly feels like silicone or some sort of really really soft urethane rubber. It's unreal what they've done here. As I said, I waited about a year and a half for Diana. I waited a year and a half for this Wonder Woman figure, and I can tell you. It was totally worth it. Diana, yes.